What are we talking about when we talk about running? Ngi kuluma nga anime nkuluma ngo kichim. What am I talking about when I'm talking about running? For me and probably for many people, it's both simple and complicated. Yeah. Because for me, running is another space. It's where I find myself. It's part of my life. <laughs> it is part of my life. Yeah. It means a lot. I can't do anything without running. Yeah. I can't do anything without running. Running has given me so much. It's been a great teacher, shaped me into the person I am today. I think it's like really important to, to give back. Getting to know Lindy and live to run, um, the program really resonated with me. And for me, like mentoring someone is not about trying to make them into a fast runner. Like in the bigger scheme of things, it's actually not really that 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 important. For me, it's been like really important to to use running as a vehicle to show you that you can achieve goals. You can do things that many people think you can't do. You can create a better life for yourself. Uh, a bathroom nearby or how do you, when you lack bath uh, Yeah. Oh, uh, ish. Well, for now, I'm using a dish. So oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. If I grow up, I would like to, to have my own place, the way it's quiet. Yeah, it's also nice about, about running. Yeah. Like when you're on the trails, it's... You have your own time. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I guess for me, I know, like I'm on quite a specific diet. It's like no gluten and et cetera, et cetera. And there's like all these things I'm cutting out, but chatting to, to Sinevrio, it's just about being able to, to eat on, on a daily basis. Like at times, like it's, it's not guaranteed that you're gonna, that you're gonna have, a, have a meal um, for, for lunch or, or, or dinner. So um, yeah, that, that's really kind of hit home for, for for me, it's just like kind of some of the struggles that that um, Sinewio and, he, and his community go through on a on a daily basis. Is life easier? Yeah. No, I won't say life is easier. Yo, life is tough. Yeah, man. <laughs> life is tough. Uh, hey, hey, the, the, it's tough. I was born to a Zulu mother and a closer father. My father died when I was a small boy. My mother spent her life struggling to provide. She did her best, but life was, was hard. Life, living was a struggle. It was simply survival. When I was a teenager, my mom became sick. She passed away when I was 15. I felt completely alone. I had no one. But running was there for me. There was an honesty to it. That's sometimes hard to find in life. It does not care who you are or where you come from. 
but running um, is definitely more than a sport. This is my, my place where I live. So you grew this, up around here? I grew yeah. up around here. Yeah. Cool. I grew up around here. Yeah. Me and Ryan, we just come from different worlds. But then again, we are both runners. That is the beauty of running. Be able to create a common bond, kind of breaks down a lot of the, the barriers because we come from very different backgrounds. But even running became complicated. To run races, you need papers, identification. But my mom died without an ID. I had no birth certificate. There was no proof that I even existed. Yeah, it's like it's, yeah, it's like pretty, or not pretty, it's, it's like really, really tough. Like he's got like a lot of hardships. It took years for me to get my papers in order. And in that time, I had nearly lost all the love I had for running. You know, you're surrounded by people that are not working, people that are struggling to survive. And I think to be able to picture yourself outside of that space, I think is a massive challenge. And I think the journey between someone who's got potential and the release of that potential is, is underestimated. Snovuyo, uh, I met Snovuyo, I think he was six or seven years old. So when he was in high school, his mother came to me. He came to me being very sick. She called me, she was passing here on the road, she called me. When I uh, uh, got closer to, to her, she said, Mr. Msomi, please, Take care of my child, because I know that I'm about to die. Hey, and it was also said I felt the tears running down my face and that now this old mama is giving me a huge task now. I call Nkulego my uncle, not because of blood, but because of respect. He welcomed me to his family and raised me. My uncle, he saw me, who I was and, and what I love. And he urged me to keep running. And I did. I was always running. I ran through the mountain with the dogs when my uncle was hunting. I ran after the cows. I ran after the donkeys. I ran for myself. I ran against others. I just ran. Um, so I met uh, Sinivoyo three years ago. I had a coach with me in the office and the first thing I said when he walked out was that is a runner. The most incredible thing that stood out for me is when you love running it really shows. When I came to the village uh, Sinivoyo was already uh, running under Live to Run Athletics Club. 
So when I, uh, I first met him, I saw a potential there. Yeah, because he loved running ever since he was, he was small, you know. And then he grew up loving running. Just seeing Sinebuyo, like his excitement in training and, and being excited to, to go to the Otter, kind of first time running the Otter, getting to do a trail race kind of outside of, of his, his community is really cool. And it makes me realize like often, sometimes I, I take that kind of stuff for, for, for granted. It's like so much about like the performance and getting a good, good result and kind of keeping everyone happy. You actually forget to just enjoy it. And that, that, that's why I started, started running. Like I didn't, I didn't start like running races because I wanted to win. I just really enjoyed the, the, the experience and, and, and the whole journey and I think kind of spending a couple of days with Tenevuyo has like really kind of made me realize that again and, and it's actually kind of really inspiring for me. I guess in some ways I almost feel a bit um, guilty or bad that like I'm going to go away from this mentorship program potentially getting more out of it than Tenevuyo. I just want him to, to, to showcase his talent, what he has, you know, what he has and also remember what he has been through and express it there, you know. Community is an important part of a Zulu culture. When you say you moon to go moon to Gabant, it's like a person is a person because of other people. You made it, man. Suddenly there was these other people who loved the same thing that I did. And for the first time in my life, I was part of a team. I feel like I'm moving forward. I'm running toward my future rather than away from my past. Looking back, running taught me to believe in myself. My uncle always says to me, you have two feet just like everyone else. We are all the same, equal. That was something I didn't often experience in my life. And what actually matters is what you put in, effort and attitude. It taught me to respect myself. And no matter what's happened, I will always be grateful for that. In Zulu culture, when we greet, we say, Saubona. It means I see you. You are important to me and I value you. This exchange, I suppose you could say, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about running. 